So this brand new camera I bought has been cutting off. My apologies for that. Anyways, let's give this uh, tea a taste test. And looks like B, uh, you know, component here will be broken up into two parts as well. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really good. That's um, a nice lemon essence to it. It's just like Lipton tea that you buy in the store or some sort of instant tea. Or like your MRE, regular instant tea. But this is a little different. There's more lemon oil in this. Mm. Anyways, there's more lemon oil in this. And I think it's a little bit less sweet than your regular MRE tea that you would get in an accessory packet. Now, this seems to be hydrated enough to show you guys. Now, I don't like adding too much water. It makes it more soupy, which is okay. You know, that's that's a, that's a way to go, you know. But, see there, hmm, ration coal weather beef stew from 1991. Not bad. Anyways, let's give it a test. Oh yeah. Hmm. Just as good as the day it was made. You know, this stuff lasts for years when you hear advertising saying, oh, it'll last 20 to 30 years. I mean, that's in like normal conditions. If you kept this stuff in 60 degrees, dark, dry environment, I wouldn't doubt if it didn't have a pinhole, it could last forever. Mm. Mm. Like one of these days, somebody's going to open up one of these when it's 50 years old and it'll still be good. Sadly, the uh, chocolate covered brownie has kind of turned. Again, I'm going to try and let's just see. You're supposed to be able to see nuts on the inside of this. The nuts have all turned dark. They are actually not even visible. Let me break this over here. Let me see if I can find... Yeah, you just can't... Oh, I see a couple of them and they're so dark. It looks like it's part of the brownie. Mm. I hate wasting stuff like this. I can't do it. I can't bring myself to wasting rations normally. Hell, I've eaten a 1977 chicken stew. And oh, I wish I videotaped that. Did it earlier this year. It was back when I was just doing photos still. No, that's rancid. Ugh. There goes the swallowing under my tongue. That's not cool. Mm. It really sneaks up on you. Damn, I haven't encountered that in a couple years. Not quite like this. Ugh, jeez, I'll be right back. That's not good. You gotta be careful, it'll sneak up on you. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'll have to wash it down with some tea. Mmm, some hot tea. Hopefully this will neutralize that. Oh my gosh, I feel like I gotta wash down. You know, now I really feel for Gundog. When he ate that fudge bar, uh, that long range patrol ration, he bit in that thing. I was like, oh man, he's gonna feel it. It's the propylene glycol. It'll just like stick to your throat with the rancidity so it won't come off. And um, if anybody's seen that, go on Gundog's. Uh, you know, videos and check out, he opens up a long range patrol ration from what I believe is, it's a Cadillac and it's the dark pouch, that's a 1980 or 1981. They switched to 19, in 1983, they switched it to an olive drab green, light olive drab, not dark, and maybe more of just a forest green. And it's laterally placed text instead of vertically. And that was in 1983 and that's when I first started putting lock codes on LRPs. Before that, I can't find any. So when I even say I ate a 1977 chicken stew, I'm just guesstimating. It could have been a 78, a 79, a 76, I don't know. Mm. But I ate a chicken stew mm. from 77, but there was something wrong with it. And I got really sick. Really sick. Like, you know, Ralphing it up in the bathroom, you know, it was about two hours later and sweating it out. There was just something wrong with it. Mm. Excuse me. I just couldn't help myself. This beef stew is fantastic. Now, let's check out these M&Ms. Anybody ever see bad M&Ms before? You know, like when they're powder? Go on MRE info. And they'll show you there too. It's the same story. Look at that. It just turns into powder. I, I actually think it could still be edible. I don't think that it's bad. It just, it changes over time. Like if you actually had to eat that, you could maybe make a hot cocoa mix out of it or something if you were like starving and desperate. But this, 
this isn't good anymore. Check this out, right? I'm just gonna spill this out. Now, look at though. This is back before they had blue and M&Ms. It was light brown, dark brown, red, green, and yellow. And that was it. Check that out before I toss it. And then I'm gonna show you the orange powder or drink mix, I mean, beverage base. The thing is, with these, it's the vitamins that go bad. I'm not really sure if it's pinholes or what goes down, but these drink mixes, and especially orange, yeah, that's just so heavily oxidized and it's gonna smell weird. Here, let me get this away from it and this as well. It's starting to cloud up. Yeah, I can instantly smell that from up here and it's just unpleasant as all heck. <laughs> Anyway, there you go with that. Look at that thing, right? That's a doozy. Let me try and get a good shot of that. Check that out. Orange beverage powder. I mean, it's no good, man. You, you can't do anything with that. It's I've actually hydrated it before it turns like dark orangish brown. It's just nasty. And there goes the rancid brownie with decent cookies just touching it. Ugh. And then this here. That, oh, oh, no, mm -mm. no, there's totally something wrong with that chicken uh, soup. There's just a nasty instant hits you. Oh, yeah, I've never even, I'm, uh, I knew that wasn't good. There's something that changes over time with it. I'm not exactly sure what, but got decent tea and decent beef stew and the cookie bars are good. But everything else in this ration is no good. Did not hold up. And... I kind of suspected that these orange drinks don't hold up very well. As you can see, chocolate covered brownies, I mean, unless they're stored at the utmost conditions, they don't they don't hold up. Mm. I'm about to finish this beef stew for lunch. Mm. Top of my mouthful again, excuse me. But anyways, here is a 1992 Sopaco B component. 2B, so it's menu 2 out of 6. Ration cold weather. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I um, had to break it up into two parts again. Hope it works out. I'm going to be getting better with this whole editing thing. Got to do some research on what I'm doing here. Just jumped into this. It was always the guy who just did the reviews on MRE Info. Which, by the way, if you haven't looked already, go on MRE Info. Also, go on Gundog, Kiwi Dude, and G. Schultz's pages. No East Too Far is really decent. I like his methodical placements and reviews. Yeah, you know, and a shout out again to all the guys off MRE Info. Thank you for your collaboration of all the info. It's where I've learned what I've learned other than through experience. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you guys have a great day and take care. See ya.